Working memory in autism. Autism is characterized by difficulty to recognize and respond appropriately to social and emotional cues. This can affect social interactions, and it can make them seem stilted and difficult. If you're a parent with a child with autism, you've probably done lots of reading. But you may not be aware that working memory is also an important piece in children with autism. Working memory is our ability to work with information, and it's my area of research interest and expertise. I'm especially interested in how it relates to autism because I found that it can affect social interactions and social behaviors. In a study I did with high-functioning children with autism, I found that they had poor visual working memory. Imagine the child in the playground and they see a friend fall and hurt their arm. They clutch their arm. The child with autism may not know to associate that physical behavior with the sign of pain or hurt. Poor visual working memory may be holding them back because they haven't made that association between matching that behavior with the rule for what it means. Here are some tips that you can do to help their visual memory when it comes to social learning. The first thing you can do is keep the rules simple. When you're teaching them how visual cues refer to certain rules or certain behaviors, give them one rule at a time. For example, when you're showing them that people turn internally or clutch themselves, that represents pain. Just present one rule at a time. Number two, minimize physical overstimulation so their working memory is not overwhelmed. Children with autism are especially sensitive to the external environment. So students with autism may experience discomfort in the classroom if they are overwhelmed or hypersensitive to certain materials, touching their skin or hearing noises. Let them take their shoes off, have a special cushion for their chair. These simple steps can help them redirect their visual memory to focus on what they need to do. Number three, set social routines. Give them role play. Show them different actions and then show them the correct social response. So when you're asking them to use the word please, be sure not to give them the object they're requesting until they elicit the word please. Likewise with thank you, make sure that they say thank you before they walk away with the object. These routines can also help them learn these social behaviors using their working memory. If you're a parent with a child with high functioning autism, there are tips that you can use to help strengthen their visual memory to help teach them those social behaviors in the classroom, in the playground, and at home. Here are your tone takeaways. Poor visual working memory can play a big role in the difficulties experienced by a child with autism. Keep rules simple. Minimize physical overstimulation. Set social routines.